my scrappy friends, I wanted to share with you uh, something that we are bringing back <coughs> over at the Crafty Maven Getaway. We are bringing For the Love of Homemade Kits back. And so I'm going to be using my the mood board that I created for January 2018 over at the Crafty Maven as a guide to start grabbing some stuff. Christina is the one who is going to be doing a lot of kit sharing and layout sharing over at the Crafty Maven, so don't forget to go check out over there. But I thought I would make a kit as well and hopefully get a couple of layouts out of it. Uh, and this is my kit. <laughs> um, I have quite a bit of stuff in my kit. I think because it's the first kit uh, in a while, I really kind of went crazy. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. So don't mind all of the noise from my bag that I have everything in. Um, Okay, so let's start off with this. So this is a piece of card, craft cardstock that I had in my stash that has some blues and greens. And I thought I would add this because it's just sitting around and maybe I can get it to work with what we have. Um, the mood board has some purples, blue, like a mint, and um, either like a dark blue or I don't know. Um, I've seen some teals and stuff, so I you'll see what I have. I don't have a whole lot of purple. I figured I could use like um, embellishments to go more with the purpley aspect of it, but um, yeah. So I added a few pieces, and actually I forgot to show show this. I showed this over in the Crafty Maven Getaway group the other night. And um, I forgot to share this one, but I added these three um, half sheets. And I have, this is from Maggie Holmes, I think, from maybe Gather. It was a while ago. This one is shot from Shine. And I liked both sides, but I really liked this side. And I there was... Um, a hexagon or like a triangle a hexagon -y type pattern on the tiles so I picked a lot of like geometric type prints I also picked this because it has dark teal and a lighter teal color um, and I just love this and also there's like a nature-y feel to the mood board on the bottom and so I thought that this could work either way using it. This is from the Follow Law collection. I have this piece from, uh, I want to say it's from Take Me Away, but I'm not positive. It is from Paige Evans. I think it's from Take Me Away. So there's this mint wood grain, and then this side also has some mint and like some coral colors. So this could tie in like even well maybe not so much this but um you know you could use them together and it would work really well uh there is no pink in in the papers there is like a yellow color which i will bring some of that in i also picked this from bohemian dreams from coca vanilla this has a purpley color and then this other side also has some different purples and stuff. So I thought that this would be a nice way to add in some purples. And I really liked this triangle pattern. I thought that would be fun. I also have this paper from Allison Craft Designs. It's called Recorded. It's through uh, Webster's Pages. This is an older paper. But it has mint. And I really liked this wood grain is a really light wood grain it kind of reads as a craft so I thought that this would be kind of nice if I wanted something not with a white background because you can tell that this is definitely like this is white. this is more of a cream color now obviously I wouldn't put these two together but it could work really well with like this and I added some other papers that I thought could go so that is one thing that I kind of thought about uh, I probably won't be using this, though this purple is more of the color that's on the mood board. So and that is something to think about, you know, like just because you have 
a crazy pattern like this doesn't mean that you couldn't use it, you know, even if it's not your style. I also picked out this because I thought that this had some of the colors, um, even though it is a cream background. This is from Cartabella, so it's a really nice thick piece of paper. This is an old collection too. It's from Travel Stories. And this orange, I probably won't use this at all, but I really like this one. Um, so, and then I also picked this from Simple Stories from the Faith Collection. I could use the flowers, though I probably won't. Um, but I really like this, and like these three go really, really well together. So that was kind of what my thought was is that I could use those together. I do try to think about trying to get a few layouts out of it. Um, we'll see. Uh, I also picked this one from Dear Lizzie. This is from Saturdays. I really just love this pattern, and I really wanted something dark. So this is like all, it's a dark blue, navy blue that it almost reads as like a a black color, and then it has like a little bit of a coral pink on the inside, and so that will really just help. This will can help ground something if I need that. And then on the other side is just some hearts and stuff. So, and there's the teal and the mint. So it has some of the colors that were in the board with some extra colors. So if I wanted to use this, I could. I also picked this and this was one of the ones that I really thought looked would look really cool, like um, to mimic that background on the, the mood board. And this, has the the yellow in it which I really wanted to have just a little bit of the yellow and I add it in some of the other pieces too and you'll see that um, but it also has some pink or like corally pink colors which is different than um, you know the purple but I can make it work right and then this other one actually this I don't think is a full sheet <laughs> that's okay and then this other one has pluses which I absolutely love pluses so who knows I probably will try to use part of this but I might use some of that too I also added this to add in something else <laughs> so I want I wanted like a leafy element and this green I think could look really cool with something like this so it also has a darker background so it could be used um, there are some cards on the back, but I probably won't use that side. I probably will just use this side. So those are my papers. I also added some mixed media and some stamping uh, stuff. I have some stamps that I added because Christina added stamps. So I usually, the way we used to do for the Love of Homemade Kits, if you followed me before, you knew that we would use a, um, a recipe to... Uh, to help guide the kit just so that we one didn't always use the same type of embellishments but also that um you know we just had a way a, a place to go with it like you know otherwise I find that I tend to want to add everything so I looked at Christina's and she had some stamps she had some mixed media she had a lot of different stuff so as I go through I'll tell I'll show you what she had and kind of how I use that. So I added some ink. She didn't add ink. She just added stamps. But I have this pack from Altenew, um that has some purple and pink and then some mint and like teal. And so I really want to use this because I think that this will look absolutely amazing with that. I also am adding some shimmers velveteen green, which is like a tealy green color. It's gorgeous. So um, and I'm going to use some putting on the glitz at some point. And this just is a texture paste that has a lot of glitter in it. I don't know if you can see the glitter because I have a lot of stuff and I'm almost out. So that means I need to get more. I really love this one. Um, it's one of my faves. I also am adding some of this Heidi Swap Sparkle glitter from... Uh, my mixed media kit that Christina put together from the from her kit club that she does and then I also have some shimmers creamies some berry hot which is like a purpley color and then I am going to add some of this freshly minted inklings which is a mint color so both of these will work really well 
and I know that I have some pictures from the winter time that I will probably try to use like from around Christmas so this will be a really fun kit I think to add those to so let me show you some of the other pieces that I have in my kit and try not to keep this too long for my alphas, I am going to be adding these Pink Fresh Studio that has some yellow. It is a little bit different than the yellow on here, but it's it's not too bad if it's not right next to each other. So I thought that having an alpha that has the color that I want to highlight, you know, it'll just give you that pop. I also am adding the these word alphas from Chamel Glitter Girl because it's just a really fun color. Here are the stamps that I picked. I have this Ulta New flower and I thought that that would be really fun to tie in some florals. Plus I haven't really used it much. And then I also added this, um, stamp set from Scraptastic. So this is an old stamp. You cannot get it anymore. But um, it has some different florally sprigs and stuff that I thought would I could work in there along with some really fun words. And then I also added this because this is one of my favorite stamps. And this is from Pink Fresh Studio when they were doing from Neat and Tangled is the one who produced it. But um, in Pink Fresh Studio used to have like a kit and so that a stamp would come in it and so there's these pluses and I just like these phrases. They're really fun. This would be really fun to do like little cards and stuff. So maybe I'll whip out some of those. I know that that is one of those things that is fun. I also added some stitching twine and bordery thread so that maybe I can do some stitching. Maybe I'll do some of the snowflakes or something. That would be fun. So I picked out this mint color, this mauve, which matches so well with this. Like, oh my gosh. And then some dark. So I'm really excited about those colors. Those will be really nice and fun. I also added some of these, these um, paper clips that have snowflakes on them. A friend gave them to me and they're really fun and I think thought that they would work really well for a holiday like a winter. I'm going to be adding these Moonstruck Pink Paisley cork pieces that have like gold in them. So one of the things I noticed that Christina has quite a bit of metallic stuff so I tried to make sure that I added stuff that had some gold or copper or something. I think I also put in the copper, I have some copper paint and I think I'll probably add that into some of my stuff because I think that'll look really good. For some purple elements, I am adding this chipboard piece that has some pretty, from per, not pretty little studios, this is Coco Vanilla. This is the Bohemian Dreams. So, but it has these pretty birds on here and some other purple type elements. So I think that'll look nice. It will just give you little pops of stuff. I also am adding these stickers from Dear Lizzie Stargazer and it has a lot of the same colors that I was wanting and it has similar colors to what was in the Saturday collection. It's not quite the same but it's sim similar so I think that that'll help tie in that, um, that Dear Lizzie feel with some of her other stuff. That's one thing I like to do with my kits is really just think about how all this stuff is going to work together, right? Because this is the thing with building your own kit is that you're putting together different collections of things that you are, do you know if they're gonna work together? You know, who knows, right? I also added this washi tape from Dear Lizzie. It's from the Stargazer collection, so it has some of the colors. It has some other colors that I don't know how I'll tie them in, but you know. Um, I add, am adding these words from, I think they're from Hello Heather from, at Pretty Little Studio. She made, Heather made a collection and these are the words and they're so pretty. I thought that this would help tie in and have that black element. You need, I feel like in a kit you really need to have some kind of black. Something black and white, something very neutral. It really helps with your other stuff to help kind of help it feel cohesive. 
Um, let's see. Also, along those lines, I added these word praise stickers from Pink Fresh Studio, and a lot of them are just mostly black and white, which is what I wanted. But it does have a few pieces of like that peach coral color. Um, so yeah, some more neutrally. I mean, it has some pops of green and stuff. I probably won't use those, but that's you know who knows. I also am going to be adding the Chamel. The, just this whole pack of stickers from uh, Glitter Girl, but I really was thinking about these ones when I picked it. So I picked for this washi tape because it has this, and then like this one has a little bit of purple in it and stuff, and this has, this has pink, but it's really similar. I also thought something like this, and this one would, or even the purpley would help. I also like these, like here's a yellow, and I liked, thought the birds could, I could make the birds work, I don't know, who doesn't like coffee, right? And then I also thought that this would be really fun with the metallic and the flowers, the colors, there's some purple in it, so um, that was kind of what I was thinking. And that's, um, I think a lot of the purple and yellow will just mostly be through stickers and that kind of thing. Um, I also, in the form of Pink Fresh Studio, am adding these. I have barely used this pack. I actually had two. But, um, <laughs> but I really like it, and I like how it has a lot of black and white, and, but it also has some mint, and I thought that this could really help pop some of the other things. It's really geometric. The yellow might not work as well, but who knows if, depending on what kind of page I put it on, you might not even notice. And then I also added the puffy stickers. So, um, Christina added a lot of, like, she had some shipboard pieces, she had, you know, some embellishments and stuff, and so that's kind of what I was trying to pick on an array of things. I also am just going to add these die cuts from the Stargazer collection. It has a lot of the colors from here, so a lot of them will go well with um, with the papers and stuff. I don't know which ones I'll use, but I thought I would add those just because sometimes it's nice to have that kind of stuff for layering. I also am adding these from Go Now Go. And these are just some heart, some puffy hearts. I don't know how many of them I'll use, but they have. There's some different greens and blues, and I thought that maybe some of the patterns might be kind of fun to work with. I also am gonna add these from Maggie Holmes. I think these are from the Shine Collection, yeah. And it has a lot of the same colors that are in that I'm trying to use. And then last but not least, <laughs> I'm trying not to make this video really too long. I added some of these cork number pieces from Allie Edwards. I'm also going to add these resin acrylic stars from Deer, or from Allie. These are from the story kits. And I could have kept them in with the story kits, but I thought it would be really fun to maybe do something with some numbers. And then I just wanted to add one other piece that was this like white or black or something that was really, really neutral. And then I'm also going to add these enamel dots from Altenu. And these are really similar to the colors that are in the stamp sets and stuff. So, and I thought the purples and the green, the mint and the tealy color here would work really, really well to help kind of tie stuff together. And who doesn't like an enamel dot or something? One thing I did want to add, but I didn't end up adding, <laughs> was wood buttons. I seriously wanted to add wood buttons because that was one of the things that she added to hers, and I love them. But I just, I couldn't find any that I thought, right off the bat, that I thought said, hey, yeah, this is going to work amazing. I know I have some. I just don't know. So, and I know Christina added some sequins, and I did not add sequins, but I figure that if I want to add sequins to want to using these that I totally can. And all I need to do is just go into my stash and find some sequins. So um, don't think that because you make a, a stash kit that you have to stick to your your to what you have in the kit. You can always add more if you end up deciding to do a layout that has a lot of different cool elements to it. Um, you know, and you think it needs something, pull it out of your stash. Don't, don't suffer 
for the sake of trying to stay in the kit. Unless, unless that's all, unless you make a kit and then you don't end up using it. But then that says something about your style. So I hope that that you guys are encouraged and I hope that you guys will play along because I absolutely love this series. It's one of my favorite series that we've that I've done and taken a part of. And when me and Megan started this series a long time ago, what, like two years ago now, I think we started it. And um, it was just a way to use our stash because we have so much stash and I have so much stuff. I have so much old stuff. So take, find some old stuff, find some, some new stuff and mix them together because that's really what makes these kits really fun and makes you want to use them, right? When you take some old stuff that you haven't used in a while and you take some new stuff. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I can't wait to show you guys some of the layouts that I make with this stuff. So just keep an eye out. I'll make sure I label everything on my channel so that you know that, that it's a home for the love of homemade kits. I'm going to try to get three layouts, I think, with this. I don't know if it'll be done all in January, but um, that's my goal is to make three layouts with this kit so that I can say that I've I tried to use this stuff, right? So I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great scrappy week and I can't wait to see your kids. Bye.